in Latin America, there is a lot of stories about why do you start calling you corn mm -hmm. as a band. Can you tell us like the true story about the meaning of the name? <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. <coughs> Honor, sure. I got corn from, uh, it was a saying used to say in Bakersfield, it was about at this party, there was these two um, gay guys talking. One guy was eating the other guy's ass out, felching him. <laughs> and when he was doing that, the guy blew diarrhea all in his mouth. And when he opened his mouth, he had a corn kernel on his tongue. <laughs> and it, <coughs> the story went around, <coughs> and we used to say corn. The people that knew the story, and they'd be all, shut up, man, it's sick. And it was just a, a catchphrase. And we were thinking of band names. We came up with that, and it just stuck. It was either going to be corn or Larry. Our manager at the time hated <coughs> the name. Yeah, and uh, he's like, call a he's band. like, you corn? can't call that. You can't. That's never gonna fly. You know what I mean? And then, uh, and his name was Larry. Oh. So, so we said, well, then we're gonna call the band Larry. How do you like that? And he goes, corn's fine. Corn's fine. Yeah, of course, corn's fine. Of course. And uh, another thing is that you're gonna, well, you want to open this gallery about uh, items from serial killers. Yeah. What is like your favorite item that you have? Oh, my favorite items that the. Ted Bundy's Volkswagen. That is cool. I know. Where did you get it? It was from an auction. The uh, Utah, the state of Utah, where it came from, had an auction, and they auction off all the cars once they're done with them. I mean, it was been all totally stripped down, and uh, I bought it off uh, a guy that got it from the auction. And is Ted Bundy your like favorite serial killer? I don't know. How I have a favorite. It's not favorite, but the most like interesting. Mm, no, my most interesting was is John Wayne Gacy. John Gacy. And he was Pogo the Clown. Oh, yeah, that's right. And what about people? Me? Um, the Night Stalker always scared me, Richard Ramirez. Because he was, I mean, I was probably like 18, 19 in Los Angeles where he started to do his killings. And, uh, and he does really cool art. Yeah, he's got some cool art I got. He's got some of his artwork. It's, do you have any plans to work like in a project besides corn? Um, Jonathan did the Queen of the Dam. Yeah, the Queen of the Dam is core, but like in a band or something. You know, we were talking about putting together a band and, and, and doing a tour with those songs. Yeah. We, we were going to do that, but then we started to work on a, a new corn album, so that, that took off. If you could choose uh, as a band any director uh, and they ask you to to do the score of the movie, which director would you, would you choose? I don't know. It depends on the movie. I don't think it's about the director. It's about what the movie's about and what it, you know, what it tells. But what is like your favorite directors? David Lynch. Lynch. David Lynch? Yeah. David Lynch. Oh, yeah, he's my favorite. Do you understand Mulholland Drive? I haven't seen it. I have it. I have the DVD and I have Mulholland not Mulholland Drive. watched it. He, he, he does... He does things in alternate dimensions. Yeah. That's his, that's his thing, so. And Lost Highway. Yeah. Lost Highway is awesome. Mulholland Drive is, I'm still trying to figure that out. Don't tell me, I haven't seen it, I'm still, it's I bought the DVD movie. like a year ago and I've had time to watch it's it really still. really good. Okay, and one of the most important people in your life, I guess, is Nathan, your son. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is the most important thing that you learned from him? What have I learned from him? I don't know. Um, I've learned that, that this little person depends on me to to um, to be raised and be brought up the right way. And uh, I've learned he helped me get sober. I learned that I couldn't be a, a drunk anymore with, with him around. I learned, I mean, there's so much. I learned, helped me understand me and my father's relationship a lot better. Um, he's helped me learn a lot, you know, a lot of stuff. It just, it's hard to explain. I don't know how to explain, put in words what, what he's done for me. You know what I mean? Taught you how to be a man. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a man yet. I'm never going to be a man. I'll be in the man, be in a sense of, but I'm never going to grow up and be like an adult, the man. I'm, I refuse to. Because you got a good job that won't allow that. <laughs> exactly. I refuse to. We're not, none of us are adults. None of us have grown up. In, in, in what? Jonathan Davis, as a father, think about the lead singer of Korn? 
Angie's fucking the best ever in the world. He's the best. <laughs> I think he's good. <laughs> I let my kids listen, you know, my kid listen to music. I let my little nephew listen to us. He loves it. He loves it. He wants to, he's already a rock star. Um, the last question. Last okay. Question. Uh, if you could choose just one band between sex art and LAPD, which one? Oh my God. Who do I choose? LAPD. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why? Because it was just better. <laughs> We had we had guitar solos. I don't care. We didn't have guitar solos, but it's still LAPD was better. Really? Yeah. Okay, you guys. Uh, could you say something to all of your fans that is that they are really waiting for you the next seven and eight of November? Um. We want to say. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I can't wait to be there. I can't wait to to play for the Mexican fans again I can't they're just so aggressive last so time awesome last time we had such a good experience it was awesome and uh, a good trip so thanks for that one and we're looking forward to coming back and seeing them again there's a lot of rock people in Mexico City yeah, yeah. there is a lot. it's a beautiful city and it's just awesome Do you like Mexico City? yeah yeah yeah, like yeah. sometimes it's bad for your stomach it's it depends on what you order yeah but tequila is <laughs> I don't drink, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just gotta watch out the water. The stuff that's with water, we can't because our stomach's not used to it. That's it. Okay, you guys, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Carnales, pues bueno, ya vieron. Eh, esto fue Corn desde Miami. Esperen los 7 y 8 de noviembre en la Ciudad de México junto con Mudvayne, Apocalíptica y todo especial Marilyn Manson. Yo ya me despido, Carnales. Sigan viendo Telehit, que les sea leve.